Oh yeah, you going, guys? One camera. This is the it's the Topo SJ four thousand. I think is the model number. So I think probably various different names of companies and all that do it. But this is a what I'm filming with now is um, a GoPro Hero four, and I've got an external microphone onto it. Otherwise, they're rubbish, as you probably know. This SJ four thousand. I was hoping to do the same thing, put an external microphone on it because the audio on it is shocking a lot worse than the GoPro as you'd probably think anyway I mean my GoPro was 500 bucks this was 60 but actually the video and the pictures it takes is pretty good anyway yeah there's no way of putting a microphone on it so what I'm gonna do I'll do a couple of um, audio examples so you can actually hear what it sounds like Right, so what I've done, I've taken this clock radio to, to pieces and what I've pulled off of the motherboard is the little um, microphone or headphone socket actually it is but um, what I want to do is convert that try and get that inside the camera so I can actually put an external microphone on it um, Find out, see if it works. Dirty Queenslander. Pardon me. What are you laughing at? You know what happens if you touch that in? Wipe it. Wipe it. Bang! It's all me down under. Okay, first thing I want to do is remove the battery. Get this screen off without damaging it. thing either side just pull it back which releases the clamp on that I'm doomed it'll never work again Here on the top of that motherboard is where the microphone is. I want to unsolder that and try and solder in the other thing and have it coming through the side. Okay, so what I've decided to do, there's just no way this thing is going to fit inside. Not with that compromising things and damaging other things and yeah it's not gonna happen so what I'm going to do I haven't found the right bit of wire yet but basically what I shall do is solder a wire onto the terminals of that microphone and on the other end of the wire I shall put one of these which is a female jack and I'll just have it on a short wire and so it's permanently joined to the camera and then on the housing I already had a hole in it for trying to let a bit more sound into it wire on there so I'll have it so it'll thread through there and then hang outside here somewhere 
and then I'll be able to plug in um, my external microphone if everything goes according to plan. There we go. Look at the size of it. Yeah, so now I got a wire, and there comes the fun bit. I'm trying to solder that back in there. What we gotta do now is make a hole in the case where the microphone used to be, so we can bring this wire through. through the hole. That can be done up. So there, uh, the only thing you have now is this hole. Alright, let's give this bad boy a whirl. Or I'll come back and I'll be talking on this one. And the only thing is that I can't see I don't need to worry about it. If you say you're working down here in the hall, you only need to put it somewhere close, and you're pretty well guaranteed you're going to get it. Alrighty. So, hopefully, we should be working. Um, there's the wire lock. I don't know if you can see that. Just to prove that it is on that camera. But yeah. We'll uh, go and put it on the computer, see what it looks like, but uh, that's what we're going to have to do, I think, with these cheap cameras that haven't got, you know, you can't put a microphone into, because the video's good, it's just the audio's crap, but um, still might be crap, I don't know. We'll go and see, it's got to be better than what it was before, but we'll go and see what it's like on the computer anyway, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.